Together, we will build what I call an opportunity economy. In her first major policy speech since entering the race, Kamala Harris served up what her critics have been asking for, specifics. $25,000 to help with the down payment on a new home. $6,000 in tax relief to families, the first ever federal ban on price gauging on food. Donald Trump fired back on social media saying Kamala will implement Soviet-style price controls. She will abolish private health care and make California's ridiculous tax policies the law of the land. Attacks he made even before Harris laid out her plan at his own press event on the economy on Thursday. We call it the Maduro plan, like something straight out of Venezuela or the Soviet Union. Trump has been stumping on his own plan for weeks now, summed up in this bullet point post, lowering energy costs, cutting taxes and regulation, and reining in federal spending. A plan Harris dismissed as helping billionaires more than the working and middle class. If you want to know who someone cares about, look who they fight for. Donald Trump blames sort of like a lot of policymakers and sort of just like, um, for lack of a better term, like the sort of elite. The Democrats and, and Harris in particular seem to see a lot of these, a lot of the same problems, but as like structural. One thing both candidates do agree on, the cost of living is too high. A loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Bacon is through the roof. They're all through the roof. The milk, everything is bad. Both candidates are clearly focused on making economic promises that have a direct impact on voters' pocketbooks. An indication that this election will be hard fought on issues that hit close to home at a time when so many Americans are struggling to make ends meet. Chris Reyes, CBC News, New York.